Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I hope you guys are doing well. One more video here from Kevin's Vagabond Base Camp. That's because I have been waiting for one last magical package to arrive. This is going to be a game changer. Hey everybody, Eric here. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description. This right here is not an automatic litter box. Hopefully the kitties won't try to poop in this. This is a portable off-grid vacuum dryer that runs on 110 volt. I am so excited. This company, Morris, reached out to me and asked me to review this portable off-grid dryer that is supposed to dry all of your clothes in less than 15 minutes with a new vacuum technology. And man, this thing is super lightweight. It's a lot smaller than your standard dryer, so it's not gonna fit at quite as many clothes, but really good stainless steel drum in there. The uh, filter for lint is back here. There is also a tray in the front here that'll hold water because it's gonna be extracting all of the water out of your clothes to dry it. It is rated for, I believe, 1100 watts. So for the purposes of today's demonstration, I am going to be using this off of a simple uh, power station over here, the EcoFlow Mini, actually. So it's a uh, three prong plugs into there. We'll uh, crank this guy on. And here on the top display, we've got some settings here for smart, quick, shirt, silk, warm, refresh, shoe and sanitize. It also comes with a rack that you can put in here and put your shoes on it to uh, dry your shoes with this machine. Um, I'm gonna be going with the uh, smart setting today because that will automatically de de detect the weight of it and how long it's gonna take to dry. It's like a 15 minute timer. And uh, well, actually the first thing we gotta do is wash some clothes. So I realized that I only had two pairs of jeans. So I went and got a, a pair of Carhartt brand new brown jeans, but they're really stiff. So we're gonna wash them in, uh, actually borrow in Camper Van Kevin's little washing machine here. Well, a little fun fact for you, because I know I've been doing quite a few product reviews lately, and I've had some new viewers say things like, man, Eric, you should go back to your, your roots. You should go back to what you started doing. I'm thinking, well, let's see. Actually, if you go back and look at my videos and sort them by popularity, in uh, over 11 years on YouTube, my most popular video is my little washing machine that didn't even have this spinner in here. So uh, I actually ordered one of these similar to what, what Kevin has. You wash in this space and you dry over here. Well, you spin over here. We're gonna do that first and then we're gonna do the dryer part. Throw in my new jeans and my dirty jeans here. You don't need very much detergent because it's such a small washing machine. All right, we'll add some warm water here. Just wanna soak them. You don't wanna overflow them with water. Let's see what this looks like. All right, we'll let that go for 15 minutes. By the way, although I'm here to talk about the dryer, these washing machine and spinners are awesome. Uh, I never put any links for them because they happen to sell out very, very quickly and then they just move on to another one that looks the same. So if you just go on to Amazon or even look at Walmart and just search portable washing machine, you're gonna find something like this and they, they really, really clean your clothes well. But we're here to talk about the dryers. Take a look at a couple other features on the dryer while we're doing the wash. It's actually significantly smaller than the litter box that is almost completely shaped the same. It comes in white or I believe like dark gray. This is the filter in the back for the air. So it's gonna blow out some hot air here. So you'll have to clean that, I guess, every once in a, I just lost the screen. Hang on, let me put that back in there. I don't think you have to clean it that often, but there's a on off button on the back. Turn the power on here. Although we're kind of got a lot of sunshine behind us here. Yeah, you can't quite see it. Anyway, there is a display here. You can't see it, but um, it's just too bright outside. <laughs> But taking another look at the inside, I mean, it is well built, guys. Very, very nice. There's a rubber seal around here because it's gonna vacuum heat dry it and then push it out that way. Let's check on our laundry here. Well, the washer's going. The reason why I wanted to use the power station was so we could see the uh, power draw on the dryer. And uh, we started this at 100%. We're at 93 now and about 222. Well, now zero. Yeah, about 220 
about 220 watts when it when it's actually moving there. Uh, but yeah, this should last us both the wash, the spin, and the dry cycle here on the Morris dryer. We shall see. Hey, and can we take a moment and at least appreciate and be thankful for the sunshine and blue skies nearly every single day here in Arizona? I'm in a, in a t-shirt, it's about 55 degrees today. It's comfortable enough in October, better than the snow, better than the rain every day too. I'm just saying, uh, I, I really like the weather here in Arizona. I'm loving it. All right, wash cycle's done. I'm gonna manually turn it off. Uh, I did go a little bit past the 15 mark just because I've got some new jeans and stuff in there, but we'll go ahead and put it on drain. And then you can just drain your earth-friendly detergent right onto an appropriate ground. <laughs> and there it goes. We'll drain on out. That little gurgle sounds mean we got all the water out. I'm just gonna raise it up a little bit to make sure we get all the soap out of the end of the hose. Good to go. Hang this guy back on the side like that. You do not need to spin it. You just add water right to it after you turn it back to normal from drain and add some water. Close the lid, turn it back on. Give another 15 minutes or so. Yeah, so I don't spin it after the wash cycle. Some people move it from here, spin it, then put it back in for the rinse. But as you can see, the water's almost clear already. It's gonna be fine for this, for a new pair of jeans in there. All right, the uh, rinse cycle's done. So now we can open up the uh, spin side here. I just want you to see how, how wet everything still is here. The uh, spin section over here is a lot smaller than the wash bas basin section, but still, it's functional. Put that guy down like that to hold it, close it, and crank her. There we go. Let that go for at least five minutes there. By the way, just for reference so you know, the spin cycle runs on 124 watts. And you can do a spin cycle while you're also doing a wash. Anyway, I'm just giving you the, the number so you can plan ahead to make sure your power station can handle it. We're down to 87% on there only. All right, and I'm gonna call that good too. Uh, back in the old days, I would have to wring out everything manually. So uh, this is a nice little feature to get some of that extra water out of there. Let's see what we're starting with here. All right, well, first load into the Morris vacuum dryer. Two jeans. And we also need a lint. Fabric softener. All right, and I apologize that you can't see the controls because it's so bright. Let me move this over. Got it set to smart. I'm gonna hit play. It's gonna try to figure out what's in there, measure it a little bit. There we go. Can you hear it? Interesting. It's doing a countdown from 15 minutes right now. Oh, it's already warm to the touch. Let's go on the back. Yep, pushing out some hot moisture air out the back there. Let's see how much power we're consuming. 700 watts, six, seven, nine, eight, seven. So it's gonna fluctuate on and off depending on what it needs to dry what's in there right now. We're actually asking a lot. I mean, two pairs of jeans. This is some heavy material. All right, so um, just in full transparency here, I'm gonna show you what's going on. Uh, the little 15 minute timer countdown that starts on the top, that's not set in stone, <laughs> okay? Uh, I was watching it, although it's impossible to see here in the sunlight. Uh, it got down to, I think, about two minutes, and then it got rid of the timer, and then it just says EST, which is estimating according to the manual. So we're still drying, and now I'm doing a timer. We're at 26 minutes total. So 11 minutes past the whole 15 minute mark. And um, I'm tempted to, like it looks like it's dry, right? Like it looks like both pairs of jeans are definitely dry in there. But 
<laughs> I don't want to open it up and stop this because I want to get an actual real idea for how long this is going to run. So, and you know, time, it doesn't really matter because you're going to throw this stuff in there. It's running off your power station and solar panels. And you know, you're going to go do something else for the day. You're not going to sit here and watch it like I'm doing on this little video right here. So the fact that it takes longer for, than 15 minutes, I mean, come on, how long have we really spent at a, at a laundromat, right? Well, let's check power. Power, ooh, 400 watts, 500 watts, 600 watts. Now back to 400. Okay, so now we're between 400 and 600, and we're at 56%. I don't know if you can see that, 56% now. Um, so, again, I'm so tempted to just open it up and feel, it looks like they're done, right? But it's gotta stop, right? So I am just going to let the Morris dryer continue to do its thing. I'll set up the camera, and we will keep timing it and see how long before two pairs of jeans are dry, or before it thinks they're dry. I still bet if I were to open it up right now, I'll bet they're good enough, but let's see. All right, one hour and eight minutes. I don't know if you can see, it says end. It finally has decided that my laundry is done. It says end. It's gonna keep doing this like thing, I guess, where it evaluates it, I guess. I'll just turn it off. Well, let's see here. Well, you know what? They are dry. They are definitely warm, hot, and dry. It feels a lot better than when you like hang them outside. Oh, okay, it did dry my clothes at least. An hour and eight minutes though. That's that, that's not 15 minutes. So I don't know about that. Uh, and at what cost to the power station? Well, we're at 32%. So we used uh, two thirds of the power of this to, to, to dry it. But you know, I'm not sure what to say about the whole 15 minute thing. Um, so I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it clearly did not take 15 minutes to dry my clothes, my two pair of jeans. I know those, you know, jeans and towels can take a little bit longer to dry. So maybe that has something to, to do with it. Uh, but in the end, you know, like, like I said, I really don't mind that it took more than 15 minutes uh, because I've been doing other projects. In fact, let me show you. Getting the motorcycle carrier set up on the back of the RV so that today I can go pick up Reba the Rebel and then put her into storage. But you know, still, I, the dryer, well, it's small, it's portable. Uh, it doesn't take up a whole bunch of power. It has soft start built in, so you can run it off a little 1500 watt uh, power station inverter off grid. Not to mention the fact that once I hook this back up to the solar panels, this is gonna be recharged in less than like four hours, probably three hours, it'll be fully recharged again and ready to do more. So it beats wringing out the laundry and then tying clo a clothesline and then hanging everything out and then the wind blows and everything falls down and gets dirty again. Uh, I, I am definitely going to give it a thumbs kind of up <laughs> for, for what it does. Uh, I wish it dried my clothes in just 15 minutes like I was kind of told it does, but um, it is what it is, right? <laughs> I mean, I will still use it. I will, just like I will my uh, dishwasher and people tease me about that. But you know what? It's about convenience, you know? Dishwasher, you know, I'm saving all that water. I'm being able to just put stuff into the dishwasher and then walk away and do other things. And then at some point in the week, I'm gonna do a load in the dishwasher and it's gonna do the hard work for me. Now the washing machine, I will just point out, okay, so, so 10 gallons of water off grid is a lot of water to wash two pairs of jeans. Uh, I could have been better about the efficiency of what I used, but I wanted to put my focus on the dryer today, which did what it was supposed to do, just took a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna take. If you're interested in getting a Morris dryer for yourself, I'll put some links in the video description below. If you have one, let me know in the comments what you think of yours. Does it dry a little quicker than my two pairs of jeans? Does it take a little longer? Does it take more power the more you load it up in there? I don't know. But I'm gonna get back to projects, guys. Opie and Tara and I will see you in the next video as we leave Vagabond Base Camp and head south. Bye, guys. Whoop.